Uva, I think we offer two different areas in our program, right? I mean, you could come being an expert in a domain and you wanted to learn about analytics and continue in the domain that you are expert. Mm -hmm. um, so we give you the tools and, you know, to pursue the analytics on that domain, mm -hmm. right? And you're contributing in any way, you're also contributing with your peers in the domain that you are. Mm -hmm. um, but we also have, it can be a, a career change too. Mm -hmm. Because mm -hmm. if you are not an expert in a domain, but you have some interest in, in one domain, or even if you don't have interest in anything, we, during the coursework, you're going to be exposed to several domain expertise and have a chance to pick the one that you empathize the best and then learning more about the domain throughout the course and the tools to be able to analyze the data in that domain. Mm -hmm. That's exactly right and it's an excellent point that you're making. Uh, so um, the students that come to us uh, out of different industries, so for example out of pharmaceuticals, right, or aviation or finance, they, they really like to, to improve their, their knowledge and uh, insight gain insight in, into analytics, right? To better contribute uh, to uh, their, their enterprises' uh, decision-making processes, mm -hmm. right? But that's a, that's a very, very good point. And in the, the student experience also uh, that we have at uh, Northeastern here, it's a CPS program, ask for that kind of experience so that you share those kind of domain experiences with your peers during the classes. The faculty we have, uh, um, including yourself, uh, uh, comes from from different different uh, industries and, and uh, enterprises, right? And they certainly help uh, students that come to us with um, with no domain experience, right. for example, or specific domain experience to get exposed to 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 different areas, um, uh, and then um, learn how to apply. Uh, that to, uh, to, to real world experience. So what we actually do is we bring um, real world data into the program from companies like General Electric or pharmaceutical companies like Vertex or uh, companies um, um, that uh, mm, are in the telecommunication industry yeah. and, and, then, and then share those kind of real world experiences with the students so that they learn how to apply specific analytical um, issues to to those kind of business questions and it's so wonderful to see how they bond with the data so yeah. I, I brought it in a longitudinal set five year data set in gaming and learning right learning how to program to game in scratch from MIT and I had some students like really loving it and really interested in the domain of the learning and gaming mm -hmm. so with the GE data set then there is always someone that is going to bond and really like the area yeah. and it's a great asset to them to be seeing different data sets from different um, industries. Yeah, and, and if I may, I mean, uh, uh, even, even yesterday uh, we were working uh, on, a, on a dashboard uh, uh, on behalf of the United Nations. So, uh, so that not only um, will allow you to um, uh, to, to understand and, and, and develop excellence in, in building dashboards, right? But it also allows you to, to really connect with, uh, with the needs that are out there uh, and to help, uh, in this case, uh, uh, states uh, in, uh, in, in certain parts of the world to make better use out of their data right. and predict what might happen um, if they invest uh, uh, certain um, human money efforts, whatever you like, um, uh, in, in certain areas, uh, and how this might change the environment. Yeah, and that's, uh, I find it interesting because the best results end up being of the students that really connect with the data, you know, the subject area. So that was armed conflict, you know, we saw some students from where they're coming from yeah. and how that really speak deep that's right. to them. And yeah they feel like, oh, I can help with that. Mm -hmm. And there's some area that I really think it's uh, important to do something. Yeah. So there's all those kind of connections that happen and it, it 
goes back to communicating through the data. So that brings me to to uh, to another point, and that is uh, how we how we incorporate trends in the industry in, into right. that what what we are doing. So we we are in close contact with with those industries that we talked about and others, and and we we learn the requirements uh, because of the industry connections that we have, and how we in, and, and then how, how how we can incorporate this in our curriculum to better serve the needs that are out there and make the jobs or the advancements more attractive mm -hmm. for the students. So our program is uh, is new. We are uh, approximately a year old. But in this last year, we already made changes to the program. Um, for example, the Python course uh, was incorporated recently. Um, we started with R, with R Shiny, but we brought uh, Python to the, uh, to the curriculum. Uh, simply responding to to questions in the marketplace, we added machine learning, um, uh, or expanded, I should say, machine learning in predictive analytics. Um, and these are just two examples how we are uh, based of based on uh, our relationship with our industry friends, um, improved the program, and we will continue to do that. Right. Yeah, there is a lot of hot topics there still to be explored, right? Yeah. The next one is prescriptive analytics. Yeah. L like yesterday we talked about um, artificial intelligence, right? Right. And, um, and um, I, I, I believe uh, um, an education artificial intelligence that we may call like high-powered analytics should start very early on, right? And not only in the industry, not at the university, even earlier than that, right? Mm-hmm. Agree. Okay.